Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Pops Productions Tech. Today I have with me here the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade this device to Android 9.0 Pi from Lineage OS which is Lineage OS version 16.1 and uh, it's very simple to get this installed um, I'm going to show you guys how to get this done so currently I am running official Samsung operating system which is uh, currently Android 7.0 Nougat um, quite old but uh, just today I decided to try installing Android Pi on here so without any further ado let's get started so now before before we get started let's just ensure that you have those files downloaded and of course you will need your PC you will need Odin uh, version 3.12 to get Twoop installed which is right here you will also need Lineage OS which is the ROM that we're going to install and also G apps so you can choose whether you want the Pico version stock or the full version I chose Pico which has a limited amount of packages it only comes with the Google Play Store if you want stock it will come with all stock Android apps full includes all the Google apps that you would like but uh, in the, for the sake of this video, I selected Pico. So just copy those two files onto your device. So after copying the files onto your device, you are now going to ensure that you unlock your bootloader because when installing Top, which is a custom recovery, it will not be installed if your bootloader is locked. So ensure that you unlock your bootloader, which is very simple. So to start by doing this, you go over to settings, you go all the way down to about device, software info and tap on build number multiple times after which developer options would be enabled scroll all the way down and you will find it there now you select you scroll down and you look for OEM unlocking in some cases you may not find OEM unlocking in developer options which I just realized so um, it may be located in your Samsung account settings but to just find this easier you just search it here reactivation lock okay you scroll down here under your Samsung account and you simply so right now it's off um, so I'm going to turn it back on so that you can see okay and it's going to request sign in and whatever which I'm not going to do so you just simply turn this off and it's going to prompt you for your Samsung account password so this is what you have to do Okay, so now that our bootloader is unlocked and um, we're now ready to power off and boot into download mode so let's power off okay now to boot into download mode you press your power button volume down and home button so let's get this done okay so let's get this done So you can see here that we are in download mode so you're going to press volume up and you can see here now to make sure that the bootloader is unlocked you would either see frp lock or reactivation lock in my case and it should show you that it is off if it is on go back to your settings to ensure that you disabled it so ensure that this is off Connected, I connected my device to the PC and you can see here on Odin that this is in blue if it's not in blue then that means either your USB cable is not good or you do not have Samsung USB driver installed now I have a video which shows you how you can resolve this issue um, so if you do not see this blue then there is an issue and you must check your connection so now let's click on AP and go over to the folder where you have to downloaded and you're going to select it and now you're going to click start and also remember um, on some devices there will be an issue where Twoop may not install that's because you have so if you go over to options you'd see I have auto reboot uncheck if you have that check then make sure you uncheck it because um, there may be a possibility that Twoop may not get installed on the device so just ensure that you uncheck auto reboot and then you can click start and install to so ensure that if you do not see to be installed then this is your issue here. so uncheck auto reboot and it's going to get installed and the device will reboot and you can feel free to disconnect your usb cable 
So I'm going to allow it to boot up just to ensure that nothing went wrong. And I can see now that it is booting up and when it does, I will power it off and will boot into top recovery. So the device is booted up so there is no issue. So let's power it off. Okay, so let me just enter my password there real quick. Okay, so let's boot into our recovery by pressing power, volume, up and home button. So we are now on to just swipe to allow modifications. And go over to wipe, which is very important. But before we go ahead, let's go to backup. Um, so uncheck this, we're going to back up our boot modem and EFS so if anything were to go wrong we would go back there and restore them so this is done now let's go over to wipe Dalvik data and cache Now go home, go to install and wherever you have your ROM downloaded and gapps, you locate that folder and you select the file. So in my case, I have it here. So you're going to select this and you're going to swipe to flash. So now we'll install our Google Apps. So you're going to select the package here and you're going to swipe to flash. So installation is now complete and let's reboot. So do not install this. Okay, finally boot up is complete, so let's get started. I'm not going to connect to any Wi-Fi, I'm going to just continue with the setup process. Okay, so our installation is complete. Um, we can see now we're on our home screen here. Let's go over to settings. Let's see how good of a user interface this has. I really like the user interface. It's very clean, very nice. And you can see I'm scrolling down. You can see we're running Android version 9. So before I leave guys, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys that the camera is working, it's functioning very good, just focusing here on the plants outside, 
also let's try the selfie camera okay so i'm going to try you can see here as my commander there big up yourself daniel so you can see it's working um let me just record a short clip so let's do so okay Also, if you'd like to get your device rooted, I'm going to link Super Sue in the description. It's very simple to install what you do. Power off, go back to into Twop, go to install, select the Super Sue package, and then afterwards you swipe to install, and then when it's done, you reboot. And then you should find Super Sue in your app list, and then you will have root on your ROM. So also I'm going to show you here the bugs on the on the developer's page on XDA. So you can see here what's not working. So very minor stuff, nothing much to worry about and what's working here as well. So the bugs aren't too much to worry about. So um, if you can, you can use it as a daily driver. It doesn't have any bugs to affect your use on also your day-to-day -day activities. So yes, I'd recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in another video. Subscribe to my channel. Support my channel and share the video if others.